then for today's behind the scenes photo shoot, we are doing a smartphone only photo shoot. And I'm here with my sister, <laughs> Georgina. Um, I'll leave her Instagram on the screen and in the description below. So please go check her out. And she's gonna be our model for today. And I'm gonna be taking photos <laughs> on the iPhone 8 Plus. So one of the reasons why I wanted to do an iPhone photo shoot challenge is because this week I just released my very own photo editing app for the iPhone and I really wanted to show you guys how it works and how you can get some creative photos on your phone. So the digital film app was designed by me and I also designed the colored filters to work on your phone photos and it was developed by my very talented and amazing cousin Leo. So this is a very personal project that we're super proud of and put a lot of work into. So if you haven't already, please go and download it in the App Store, it's free. Just search for the words digital film and please let me know what you think in the comments because I would love to see you guys using the app and editing your photos with it. But right now, we're gonna start taking some photos. Ooh. To start off with, I think let's go to this blue bush here because it's like nice and tall. Really handy today that it's a cloudy day which means the lighting is nice and even. So I'll get you to stand right in front of it. I'm just cropping right above your knees and then getting like a whole lot of the grass in the background. It's good. Like your hands are nice and soft, it's good. <laughs> Do you wanna try crossing your arms? Yeah, like that, that's so pretty. This is the gallery of the digital film app where you'll see all the photos that you've imported. So we're gonna start by hitting import and that's brought in the first photo that I took of Georgina. So you can either select the photo and hit edit in the bottom left hand corner or you can use the shortcut double tapping on the image in the gallery which will take you to the editing page. This is the editing page. You have all the presets down the bottom. There's a bunch of free presets that you can use and there's also some that you can purchase if you like as well. They come in packs of five. So for this photo, I want the edit to be kind of cool and I want the color of the flowers in the background to really pop. So I think I'm gonna go with Positano 5. And then I'm gonna jump into our tone slider and bring down the exposure slightly on this image and also bring the contrast slightly down as well just to give it a little bit more of a faded look. Actually, I'm gonna take like a creative shot. It's like a little web there. Can I get you to kind of like hold this and we can get your profile? Yeah. So it'll be like a really close up shot of your face. Yeah. <laughs> Like a small, like even just with your eyes closed or something. Okay. Yeah, nice. Can you get in a bit closer with your body? Okay. Perfect. And we got a person in the background. <laughs> I love that. I absolutely love this next photo that we took. I think for this, I want to go for a little bit of a brown, almost vintage edit. So I'm thinking either the Positano series or otherwise, I think Mountains looks really cool and that's also a free preset. I'm gonna leave the opacity at 100 for the preset because you can change it if you like. And I'm gonna start by bringing down the exposure just there and then I wanna go into color and bring down the saturation slightly just to help with the skin tones a little bit. And then I'll get you facing towards me. And with both your hands, can you grab onto the flower? So get in nice and close to it. And look kind of like, rest your head up, close your eyes. We're getting creative. Uh, still face? Yeah, yeah, shoulder in, that's nice. And the lighting is really pretty this way as well, because it's like directly on your face. You can rest your watch hand, your elbow and your knee and put your head on it. Yeah, it's like an actor's headshot. <laughs> <laughs> the thinker.
For this photo, I want to go for a warm but film-like faded look, so I think I'm going to go with either peachy or wild. I think I'm leaning towards wild because her skin tones look nice and warm. I like your hands like that. Yeah, perfect. And then just kind of like, yeah, that's nice. And then look up, like profile up, yeah. So I want the overall photo to look quite blue in the edit, so I'm going to go for the daisy pack as it's really soft and it's got these beautiful pink tones in it as well. I'm going to go for daisy number four because I do love the blue hue that it adds to the entire image. Again, I'm going to bring the exposure down. And I might bring up the highlights a little bit. Bringing up the highlights usually mattes them a lot, which I really like. And then in color, I might bring up the white balance to look a little bit warmer and then bring the tint down into the greens a little bit more. I get a backlit one as well because the sun's coming out. That looks nice. I really love how this shot turned out, so I want to keep it really simple and I'm just going to apply Aspen to it and export this image as is. For this one, if you stand here, and I reckon kind of like sway your arms around. Perfect. The last image that we captured in the gardens is this one, which is a little bit darker looking and has these really beautiful greens that I want to keep in the final edit. So taking a look at these presets, I like how the Aspen preset looks because it's very vibrant and really makes the leaves in this image stand out. So I'm going to bring the contrast down a little bit because I want this to be a bit more faded. So we've decided to come to a different location to have some different lighting to work with and different colors in the background to work with as well. And we are now at the dog beach, so hopefully there'll be lots of dogs running around us while we're taking photos. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> so I thought the first shot we could do is of you like walking away from the camera. If you kind of just want to like swing your arms. Yeah, to the ceiling. <laughs> Perfect, and do a little spin. I want this editing for the photo to be a little bit more creative and less natural looking. So I wanna go for something with very kind of bold colors. Oh, I almost like how that very pink washed out tone looks. So I'm gonna go into color and I was imagining it to have a little bit more blue. And I'll just see what it looks like with less pinks in it as well quite like that and then in turn I'm going to bring up the contrast slightly too. So this is a really like wide shot so you're like little in the frame. If you can do like big things with your arms maybe. Yeah that's cool I like that. <laughs> that's your go-to pose. All right and then I'm gonna get your full body in it as well. Oh, the water's coming! <laughs> Do you want to walk towards me? Am I going to walk into Dan? <laughs> oh, yeah. That looks so good! I want to try and get as much of the reflection of the sky as possible in the shot. Can we get you maybe crouching down? And yeah, like lean your hands. Maybe, can you lean maybe one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was struggling to get this shot a little bit, but we ended up with such a beautiful one that I'm really happy with. 
I love how down the bottom you can see the preview of the preset on the image that you're working on so you can kind of scroll through and pick which one looks the best on your photo. I really like the way Aspen 2 looks like. I might just bring down the white balance and the tint just a little bit. Let's shoot this way so there's more light on your face. I'm always so used to shooting backlit because I shoot with a DSLR, but with your phone it's better to shoot with the light. I'm gonna hide that lady. <laughs> The little fake look, it's nice. Perfect. If you kind of go to the side and tippy toe this leg, yeah, and then this can go maybe like this. Yeah. That good old pose. Yeah, that's beautiful. I love that actually. So cute. go as well just by your side yeah pretty and look the other way as well you can smile if you want <laughs> that looks really nice actually can you like laugh like this <laughs> yeah that's really good I thought this image was so cute I had to edit it because I just love the way that it turned out I think Pacific which is a free preset looks really beautiful in this I like the color of the background how it changes it a little bit pink I might bring the saturation down a little bit for her skin tones which were looking a little bit too vibrant orange and I'll bring the white balance down as well. I just want to do maybe one more shot. So for the last one, I just want to keep it like fun and silly and it's okay if we don't get an amazing one, but we might. Uh, so I was thinking if you just kind of walk away and then back towards me and you can spin, go into the water, <laughs> roll around and then on the ground. <laughs> yeah, we'll just try like all random stuff and just take a few extra last few photos. Yeah. And now that there's no people this way, we're going to shoot this way because the storm clouds are nice and dark in the background, which like really makes Georgina stand out in the photo. So yeah. Alright, when you're ready, maybe let's move out a little bit. image that I want to show you guys editing in my digital film app is this one which is one of the last shots that we got of the day and I just think again it's like such a beautiful moment um, I want to go for a blue almost washed out look for this image so I'm thinking Aspen 5 looks really nice and I'm really going to try and get rid of as much of those warm tones as possible and just make it really cool Alright, awesome. Done! Yay! So we just wrapped up our iPhone only photo shoot challenge. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching that and enjoyed seeing how you can edit your photos uh, on my digital film app. Did you have fun? I did. It was it good? <laughs> yes. which, uh, which location did you like better? Oh, that's a tough one. The beach is my favorite place though. Probably I think the beach. so too. <laughs> yeah, that was mine as well. And it was also a lot cooler too. It was yeah. really hot in the gardens. <laughs> if you guys want to try this app out, it's totally for free. There's a few in-app purchases, but there are lots of free presets that you can try as well. 
So just look for digital film in the App Store or check the link down in my description below so you can download it and use it. But yeah, otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I make new videos every single Wednesday, so I will see you all next time. And also a big thank you to George again, Georgina Trotty on Instagram, <laughs> <laughs> and Dan, who's behind the camera, filming today's behind the scenes. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. Bye. Bye.